So yeah, hey guys, welcome back to uh, another episode of Epic 7. So first of all, uh, this is a good time to start playing for the newbies. Um, if you're not playing on the phone, you can also play in PC. Um, just go download Nox emulator. Uh, for me, I think that's the best right now. It's really fast. Uh, there's no, there's not much lag. Uh, before I use uh, blue stacks, but uh, I feel like um, Nox is performing better for me. So yeah, if you like playing in the PC, uh, go download it while playing Epic 7, uh, which is what I'm using now. And yep, after tomorrow's update, uh, 4.29, April 29, um, there's a... Uh, very good update rewards, logins, buffs, free summons, and I think this will be the best time to start playing, especially the newbies. Um, let's go to the let's go to the updates. So yeah, here is one of the updates. There's a free chicken event for seven days, and in the last one, you will get a free five star hero summon ticket. So, automatic five star hero. So, this will be good for new players. This will be on top of the covenant summons. And all you have to do is just log in, and other rewards are really good also. This will help you start the game. Uh, with free energy bonus of course for the attendance continuous check-ins and then we also have three covenant summons here uh this is for seven days also yep here then three covenant summons for seven days so it's, that's a total of 70 summons that's a lot of free summons actually and you can pray for an ml hero here Hopefully, <laughs> even if it's uh, a little chance, very little chance, but you can pray and hope, or you can just keep on re-rolling if you want. So, this is very good for new players as well. And then, last but not the least, I think that's important here is the box. So, for the new players, I think most of these are not yet what you're doing because these are mostly for the uh, end game players or those in the middle part of the story already uh i think what's important here is the 30 percent gold increase and this one for 30 percent ap increase 30 percent exp increase so that that will be very important for you when you start the game so this will give you more gold and more experience and ap when you do your adventure mode so yeah that, that that that's these are all very good stuff very good stuff for new players so for the newbies why don't you go ahead and download the game already and try and let's see your luck uh for the in-game uh what most people are looking forward to are the uh uh selective summons so these are 30 10 times full and so you get 30 chances for a 10 times full so in the 10 times full you get either artifacts or heroes and uh, this is where you this is where you look for your uh, very good unit. And yeah, you can only choose one 10 times full. So for example, you choose you someone 10 times and those are heroes. And then that's it's either you choose that or you go to the next 10 pulls. So if you choose that, that 10 times full, that will be what you will get. So it's really luck based. So keep on pulling 
uh, and then if you get these heroes, I think it's a good start already. Because this will help you in a big way, in almost, uh, in almost in some contents, really. Uh, don't, don't start playing without a 5 star. So just keep on re-rolling. Uh, go search what, how to re-roll. <laughs> All well, you have to do is start the game and then go to the selected summon parts and if you don't get what you want, uh, reinstall the game. I'm not sure how you do it now, but you can do it again. Reinstall the game and uh, go to the selected summons again. So these are a, these are the must pulls. Actually, this... Oh, this hero is the muscle for for selecting summons. Uh, this is Sigrid. Uh, so Sigrid will be very good with your Wyvern hunt. Uh, Wyvern hunt is where hunt is where you get most of your equipment, and she is a Wyvern killer. And with Wyvern, you get uh, you get. Uh, two of the best sets i guess for dps and also for other heroes mostly the speed set and the crit crit uh chance set well people also like using hit but really the more more important one is the speed set because uh speed is really an important uh stat in this game and if you get tired of pulling uh, i mean re-rolling <laughs> Um, you can choose also Vildred. So Vildred here will help you very much with Adventure for easy clears because he is an AoE, AoE uh, attacker. So the mobs, oh, mobs, not, uh, so the mobs, the the uh, stages will be easier to clear with this skill set. And last, I think is also a good choice is Ravi. I think Ravi is part of the selective summon. I'm not sure, but I think he is. Uh, Ravi can actually tank and attack, so adventure might be much slower, but he can do it all. She can do it all, I mean, uh, you can bring her and then three fathers, so that would be very helpful. And right now she's very good in PvP with her skill set. And once you've chosen your, player, uh, your players, your heroes, and you get your summons already, um, I think the first priority uh first priority is finishing adventure mode because you get all the uh early good stuff here so this is this is the entire map and you will start with your time here and you start with from one and just go follow and clear everything the story this is where the story is also um you get a lot of good stuff here uh for region there's rewards here gold sky stones um uh, there's also this apex change you will need this for leveling leveling up your i mean awakening your character and with the buffs with the experience block and double ap um finishing adventure will be good so yeah go through the game it's it's a nice uh a nice story as well so priority is adventure you'll be you'll be um uh panicking with a lot of things to do but don't worry because you're not an ending player yet uh so focus on adventure mode finish it, the storyline.
And that that Britannia, uh, let me go back to it. The Ritania here is the easier easier uh, part and it gets harder when you go to Sidonia and Eureka. So right now we're in Eureka, the storyline. So if you find it difficult in the adventure mode, um, you can try doing other stuff for the meantime to uh, level up or increase uh, and make your character stronger through gears. Um, we'll talk about it later. For it to get good gears, I mean good uh, new gears for your new players. So and then there will also be an adventurer's path here. They give all kinds of new cards. So go check it out and hopefully you finish some of them also. Um, next is you got your reputations here these are what you call your dailies uh dailies uh, you get lots of stuff here uh what's important here is the sky stone where's the sky stone yeah you get a total of 50 sky stones so just doing this every day means a lot already uh do your reputations every day so log in and there's also a login bonus just so you guys uh don't know there is a check in reward so here it is uh just log in and you get lots of rewards here and here's our the nice one there's a four five star artifact someone pick it there's a four five star hero someone pick it and galaxy bookmarks for ml heroes uh, just a brief background on heroes so the usual the normal heroes are the rgb heroes so the red green blue so that's fire earth and and water heroes and then i think they will be explaining that in the story mode so yeah and the ml are the light and dark heroes these are the more uh, harder to get heroes and usually the stronger ones. So hopefully you get you get an M hero in your free summons. Uh, next maybe I mean uh, finishing adventure also just to add gives you breath of orbis. Uh, and this is the sanctuary they will explain it also uh you you'll get good you'll get some stuff here uh three sky stones and gold after how many uh how many uh hours so you will need that for this sanctuary i think it will also be explained there um and don't forget to uh, level up your heroes in adventure mode bring fathers uh you have to bring fathers uh this is an example of mine so this is a father his dog you'll usually see this and you will use this to level up uh the heroes uh, uh stars so right we got a uh, three star the lowest Four star and five star heroes. Uh, the five star, the uh, further to get ones, and uh, and these doggos have their own star as well. So we have uh, the black ones. They're four star. Uh, the yellow ones are three stars and. Uh, I don't have a two star here. Uh, there. So these are two stars. So I think they will explain it also. <laughs> I would love to explain it. Maybe in more detail here. But uh, as a summary, you use these fathers to increase the stars of your heroes. So let's say you have a five star hero. And you're gonna increase it to its max six stars. So the max is six stars. You'll be needing 
uh, five of these to uh, increase the stars. So you need like uh, if a five star if a five star hero is five star, <laughs> so you need a five five star fathers or even heroes to increase their stars. Uh, maybe let me go have an example here. <laughs> Um, I should not be. I uh, should not be going to detail, but yeah, let, let, let's just uh, give an example. So we're going to promote. promote these are five star heroes, um, and we need five star stuff to increase its stars. Five star to six star. Okay, so. I generally don't use heroes, so I just use fathers. I keep heroes. Uh, so that's an example of a five star. So go collect some fathers to level up your first five star. And this is an example of the two star. So we can keep on increasing two star, three star, four star, five star. So these are the usual fathers also you can use to uh, increase the stars, 2 star to 3 star, so so on and so forth. Sorry I dug too long on that, but yeah, it's part of the adventure, so you don't waste time just, just doing story, so we're also leveling up uh, other stuff, doing other stuff as well. And next we got the arena here. Um, there is a... I can't go in yet because I usually wait for Sunday for this. But when you go in there, um, there are NPCs, not playable characters. And they're, they're not uh, real people, even if it's arena. There's a different part of the where you fight the real uh, players but these are NPCs and you get uh, free gems there so you use this to attack and these things refresh every one hour so if you can attack NPCs go do it it's free gems you think it's a little but if you keep on doing it you you will just see how much gems you have um, and then don't mind the banners, so, the summons here. Use the summons. Don't don't mind them. You don't have to pull them right now. Don't don't use your covenant summons. Uh, you'll know if it's a meta breaking summon. I usually just go first as a new player for limited ones. And in this coming June, we're gonna have a collaboration. Uh, no one knows yet, but these are limited heroes, so I suggest you save your summons, your bookmarks, uh, your bookmarks here, wherever you get them. You just save them, as well as gems, because you need gems to buy coconut bookmarks. And we also have some special events where you can get uh, other stuff. If you need energy, you just go here, event, watch ads, here, click this, watch ads, you get 20 energy, you can do it 5 times, oh, I didn't work, oh there, no more ads, because I get energy from here, and then right now we also have this um, <clears throat> event here, go click, view, view a video, Cheer, cheer a um, competitor. This is the tournament for Epic Seven World Champion Tournament. Cheer, you get uh, energy, and you can predict also who will win. Even if you don't know them, just predict because you get a. This is a summoning ticket. 
for green for green units so that's free stuff and here we also have uh, e Yuna's event so all you have to do is play play adventure mode 20 times and you get energy these are 50 energy each and then you get the uh, random rewards here as well and don't forget to click on the shoe and additional rewards at the bottom for bonus but i think this is ending already in seven days uh you can still get some rewards for and this will usually be replaced uh and also we have a crafting event uh crafting event uh as i mentioned gear is everything in this game so even if you have the hero you don't have the gear your hero sucks so i already crafted mine um i want to explain this but I'm, I'm, uh, this is more on the gear side already um, my suggestion is to go for a speed speed set for the newbies go for a speed set and for the main stat uh, go for critic damage necklace uh with very good substats ah critic chance critic damage and health i think that's very balanced i went mine for immunity because because i didn't uh, i didn't have an uh, immunity set with those stats so you can get this as well you can get one of one of the best gears there so don't forget to go there and as you're playing adventure mode don't forget to add friends <laughs> you you'll be given the option to add people so just go add people they will help you with your adventure mode uh, especially the strong ones go look for strong ones and you can bring them as a support in adventure mode uh, I'll just do an example here. Here, supporters. So, and if you have strong friends, they will usually help you clear the harder parts easily. So, yep, yeah, your supporters here, it's your team. And. Additionally, look for a guild. Sorry, this is a lot. <laughs> Make sure you find a guild. Go join. I'm sure if you're seeing this, you're already part of the Epic 7 PH guild. Uh, go join. Go join the guild because uh, there are buffs here. There are buffs here. They give you buffs. Uh, they can give you uh, some materials. And you can join Guild Wars, which gives uh, Mystic Summons. Anything that's summon related is good. So don't forget to join a guild. And yeah, so I guess that's it. That's uh, that's it for the for uh, for what you should focus on first. Uh, don't forget to save gems and covenant bookmarks. Uh, I like hoarding before, <laughs> so I have a lot of gems. Uh, don't forget to save gems, covenant bookmarks, because uh, there's a collab this June, so you don't miss out on these units. Uh, and of course, you'll also see other stuff here in this battle mode. Uh, it's a lot of stuff, but you don't have to focus here uh you really don't have to maybe here on the mountain tower you can if you have extra energy they give good rewards here 
uh, labyrinth yes uh, if you have this ticket make sure you use it but uh, I guess these are the last parts you have to do to get done for the day um, here is where you get good equipment it's good starting equipment so you can go here you have to finish this first and then you go to the next uh, Tons usually for the end game players already. This will get most of your gears. Uh, this also, if you have this refresh every day, uh, if you have some time, you can start doing it. But it just gets difficult. So there, there are already uh, 110 floors. Uh, what's great here is you get a life steal uh, set here. That's a very good, very good also for newbie players. Spirit Altar for runes, for awakening, uh, for making your character stronger. And Side Slory, again, if you have extra energy, uh, go visit one. Uh, here you can, here you will just farm for currency and exchange it here. Stuff here are good actually. I buy everything and you get some reputations here but this this is only do this if you have extra time uh, don't don't go here first uh, maybe I think the most important here you can go to is maybe labyrinth for the gears and the mountain tower but the rest uh, you don't have to focus on really uh, so just focus on adventure mode uh level up level up and finish the story and you get good stuff from there uh yep and hopefully the the event the main event that will be happening tomorrow will provide you a lot of good stuff someone's rewards which will help you in your journey to uh playing this wonderful game Epic 7. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helped. I hope it did. So I've been just blabbering here. So for newbie players, uh, go try out this game. It's a very good game. And I hope they, they continue uh, giving us uh, updates and a good fun time more rewards hopefully so yeah thank you guys for watching and hope this helps again and i will see you in the next video